A lot has been written about 1961's The Hustler, a very famous film starring Paul Newman, directed, produced and co-written with Sidney Carroll by Robert Rosson. I, I read excerpts of writing based off of this film and I don't feel like repeating them here. They are very good, I'd recommend seeking them out for yourselves, they are not hard to find. However, for this video I prefer not to just read out other people's quotations about the film. Instead I will discuss my own takeaway of this film, as plain as it might be. Quite easily, my favourite aspect of The Hustler is its photography, courtesy of Eugene Schuftan. Schuftan's career included photographing such monumental works as Fritz Lang's Die Nibelungen and Metropolis, Abel Gans's Napoleon, People on Sunday, Eyes Without a Face, and several films from Marcel Kahn and Max Ophuls. Schuftan was awarded an Oscar for his fabulous work on this production. The other facet of this film which I find remarkable is its status as an overtly autoristic major Hollywood release pre-New Wave. Robert Rosson had a tendency to write his own films. Rosson had entered the film industry as a writer, leaving behind a spell directing theatre productions. Rosson made his directing, film directing debut in 1947 and directed films in Hollywood up until 1964. He wrote much of these films, although The Hustler seems a particular passion project. Rosson had been a pool hustler himself in his youth and had long wanted to produce a theatre play about pool. In 1949, author Walter Tevis published for Hustler and Hollywood was hungry. Rosson quite fortunately secured the job, directing the adaptation, co-writing the script of Sidney Carroll. This writer-director phenomenon in old Hollywood is not completely unique, of course. Richard Brooks wrote many of his own films, for example. Perhaps what this film feels like more so, and this is what much of the contemporary dialogue surrounding The Hustler seems to entail, is it acting as a prototype for the more narratively contemplative, passionately stylized, and technically adventurous pictures of the forthcoming American New Wave. There are no neat knots at the conclusion of The Hustler, just tangled shame. Could Hollywood release a film such as this with its realistic aura and dreadful miseries in the 1950s without dressing it up as a classy, ethereal, Shakespearean experience? In the traditional tragedy, woe is out of the character's control, presumably, whereas The Hustler depicts the consequential crimes of masculine pride. A highly recommendable film to this day. Paul Newman, Piper Laurie, Jackie Gleason and George C. Scott carry this strong screenplay, expertly photographed and considerately directed. The Hustler remains a rather strong film.